coming about now. The late teens and 20-somethings, they're more open to not having things so categorized, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, I think technology is playing a tremendous role in introducing music to people and getting music to people, making things accessible. The flip side of that coin is accessibility is also a curse because anybody with a computer can get their hands on software and make music. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's causing people not to pursue a craft because now you have software, for example, that you can sing any tune, out of tune thing you want. Mm -hmm. It'll correct it for you. You can play off beat. It'll correct the time signature. You can have ten different things in ten different keys. It'll put it all in key for you. And People are more now saying, okay, well, let me just do any old thing randomly, and I'll have the computer correct it. Mm -hmm. There's no human element in that. And because people aren't pursuing the craftsmanship of music or being an instrumentalist or playing an instrument or songwriting, it's become more about programming than it has actually playing or expression. Mm -hmm. So that's making music really go in the wrong direction. You know? Another reason why I'm so about going to do these workshops with kids and sitting in classrooms with them and playing percussion and playing guitar and going, dissecting lyrics to great songwriter songs and singing them back to one another and asking them, can they feel, what, what do they feel from this? You know, read the lyrics and tell me what it means to you. And then, you know, go home for a day and do your assignment and write something and bring it back. Ex express yourself, show me how you feel, you know, how your world is affecting you and what is it that you want to say. A computer can't do that for you. You know, that has to come from your soul. So the tools are tools, and they're great, but it's about what you do with them. And I just think now people are just super lazy, you know? And it's really, really, in black music in particular, horrible, you know? Because for the last 25, 30 years, black music has been interpreted commercially by machines. You know, bands went away, musicians went away, and it became about programming and MPC and all that, and that's cool. But if you don't take a musical approach, it's not music, you know? So what's being sold as music these days really isn't music, you know? It's just, that's my take on it. I'm just like, let's get back to music. I don't care what tool you use. It could be a can, a bottle, a guitar. At the root of it, start with your own unique, individual, original idea. And use whatever you want to interpret it. It could be this. <laughs> interpret it however you want, but make it yours, you know? Don't just sample or loop or use some bullshit software. Make it yours, you know? If it starts yours, no matter what you use to express it, at the end of the day when you listen back to it, as long as it's, it's yours and it's original, it's cool, no matter what style or genre it is. But if you play it back and it just sounds like the 20 things you just heard on the radio, if that's what you set out to copy, then that's what you're doing. You're just a plagiarist. You're not a musician. So strive to be original. That's what I would tell the youth. Strive. You came out of the womb, one person. Be your own self. Express yourself. Don't copy anything. You know, we all have influences. That's a different thing. I'm influenced by many different things, but I'm not going to copy anyone. You know? And the only people that have a lasting impression on this earth are the people that say original things. You know, all the copycats, they have that 15 minutes, but th that's it. Well, obviously, this makes me think about one person uh, whose birthday is today. Oh, Michael uh, Jackson, so. the original, one of the biggest originals and influences ever. There'll never be another. There'll be a bunch of copies, but there'll never be another Michael Jackson. There'll never be another Prince. There'll never be another Stevie. There'll never be another Marvin. There'll never be another Donny Hathaway. There'll never be another James Taylor, Johnny Mitchell. None of them. Use these people as examples to aspire to greatness, you know? Because right now, Everybody's studying their contemporaries, and it's like, there's some greatness out there, but it's mostly independent artists. Because we don't have a platform to make millions of dollars off of being lazy. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to sustain ourselves, we have to come with something original. You know, Don't just look at MTV or videos or the radio for your sources. Because that's just making you bow down to the commerce of purchasing a computer and following that same formula. Yeah. Uh, I think people should go to blogs. To find out about. They should go. That's the thing. I mean, we all have technology, smartphones and laptops and everything else. Don't just use your technology to dumb yourself down. You know, use it to educate yourself. You know, that's what it's out there for. Simple. Okay. Anything else you would like to add?
Um, the biggest state, I guess the biggest, most sincere and simplest statement I can make is be original. Period. Be original. Take in as much as you can, not just the television. If you're an avid TV watcher, turn that off. If it's a seven day week and you're a teenager and you only have the weekends to really catch up on things, get out of the house. Go to the library. If reading isn't your thing and it bores you, go to the museums. Pick out a museum every Saturday or Sunday and go and just absorb. So that's a call and response with art that you can't get from anything else. Just go look and visualize and store all those images and see how they affect you, you know? See, see what, kind of, what, what kind of feelings they evoke from you. Don't just be told how to think and what to say and what to do and what to wear. Be original. That's the biggest, most sincere thing I can tell you. Be original. Because only the originals have lasting power. They're, when they're gone, their work is still here. Everyone else is in the garbage, in the bin with all the rest of the junk. You know? It's like my mother used to say, junk in, junk out. So if you take in junk, all that can come out is what's within. So watch what you take in. You know? Feed your soul, and then the right stuff will come out. Maybe not the right stuff, but good stuff. You know, who's, who's to say what's right? You know, only you know that what's right for you. But be original. That's the biggest, biggest thing you can aspire to be is original. You start there and you end there. It's all good. Because then you're on your own island. Nobody can be you but you. Period. That's it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.